Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Today I am doing another recipe planning video and I know that there's a lot of you who are really excited about these types of videos. I know I used to do it every Thursday. I've discovered that the audience for these is not as big so I'm not going to be doing them every week but I will continue to do them throughout the year. Do not worry, they're not going away anytime soon. So if you'd like to see me plan for this week in my recipe planner, stick around. Hey guys, today's recipe is for, as you can see by the title below, cracked chicken. So while I don't agree with the title of the recipe necessarily, I do think that it's going to be delicious, hence the name. So I thought I would try it out this week and I am I think most of the time it's made in the instant pot, but I don't have an instant pot. So I looked up a crock pot recipe and the recipe that I found is from a website called cookiesandcups.com. And this is the picture I got from the website. It has like bacon and ranch and all sorts of good stuff in it, which I'll show you as we go along. And so I printed this out on my selfie printer, my Canon selfie, and I decided I would put it in the, the page this week because just to remind myself what it's gonna look like and it looks delicious. You can have this on buns, or if you want a keto recipe, you can do it without any buns, and I believe it's very low carb or no carb. So, I was looking in the food, the new food sticker book, which I don't like as much as the old food sticker book, but it'll do. And I saw this grocery list, and I thought I would try putting that in the sidebar. I've never done that before, so why not start now? Okay, and then I'm just gonna find a place. I might cover up those vegetables because obviously this is like a, not a fruit and vegetable type of recipe, but then again, I don't know if I like the way that looks, so I may end up keeping it. Ingredients are chicken breasts, cream cheese, ranch seasoning, bacon. That is it. So I might not even need this big grocery list. Let's write down the ingredients first and then I'll see how much room I have at the bottom. Two one ounce packets of dry ranch seasoning. I'm not gonna have enough room here. All right, we're off to a great start. <laughs> Let me take this off. Hmm. There's just not enough room, unless I wrote really small. There's just not enough room there, so that's a waste of a sticker. Okay, I'm gonna try this longer shopping, shopping list here. Let's see if we can make this one work. I know it's going to take away all this stuff, but I really don't ever refer to like times and difficulty or anything like that. So I'm just going to cover all of that up. Now I'm going to write my ingredients out on the right hand side here. Okay, so those are the things we need. I'm ignoring all these dots here. I don't care. I don't care that they're there because I'm obviously it was supposed to be like one item for each circle it doesn't really bother me so down here what if I put you're baking me crazy from that same food sticker book I don't know I know it's gonna go over the line which is kind of annoying but I could wipe that out right there let me do that. I'm gonna white out that area, starting like here, going to here. There, put a little more there. Sometimes it's hard whiting out under stickers. You can, you don't want to like white the part that it, it comes off like that. That looks a little bad. That's a little bad because I didn't take into consideration that part. How about I weigh out that part as well? 
I need my palette knife. I can't find my palette knife. Here it is. I think I put it in my drawer because I had it in one of these pen things and I kept like cutting myself because it's sharp. Anyway, somebody gave me this at Go Wild and it's great for lifting stickers. If you have a gel manicure like me, the ends of your nails are like not sharp. Like they're rounded, so it's very difficult to, to peel things up. So I'm just gonna white out like this whole section here. So that it looks kind of like white underneath. Okay. I don't know why, but the line under there bothered me. All right, so now at the top, I'm gonna write the name of the recipe, and I usually do that first, but for some reason I did not, so I'm gonna do it now. And I think I'm just gonna do it in black, and I'll use this Tombow dual brush pen uh, that I like to use sometimes to write titles at the top. Crack chicken, why not? All right, I'm gonna over here write slow cooker. So let me see how long the recipe is to write, like how many instructions there are. It doesn't look like a lot because I'm trying to figure out where to put this. I could put this at the top of the page, which I like never do. I always put pictures at the bottom or over here. So what if I did that? Because I'm not gonna need, I'm not gonna need the ingredient section. So I'm gonna wipe that out. And then down here, I won't have as many steps. So I'm gonna white out these two things here. And I'm gonna place this down. Wondering if I should, wondering if I should like put an, a bigger frame around it, like a paper frame. Okay, I had a little piece of um, Happy Planner paper here, like memory keeping paper. And I'm just gonna take this and attach this to here using the Tombow mono adhesive and then I will glue that down to there. I think it just makes it prettier. There's also like a little yellow corner up in here. It was like a family favorites section and it was color coded in my book. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, I think that looks cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and write in the procedure, this, the preparation steps. And I think I'll do that, let's see. Do I wanna do that on box stickers or maybe just write it in plain? I don't like how this looks white out here and not white out there. That bothers me, but um, I can live with it. So what do I want to do? What do I want to do? How about we just use different colors of blue here and we'll just write in a few of these steps on each one. I think I can probably do it in two of them. So let's do this. I'm going to just do it like kind of offset, like diagonal like this just for something different. I don't know that I love it, but I don't hate it, so let's go.
Okay, so those are the steps. And then I just wanna put something about the website that I got it at. Okay, the website is called cookiesandcups.com, like I said. So I'm just going to, I think, write it in here. I'll just do from. cookiesandcups.com. Okay, so it's important to note that I have not tried this yet, like I said, and I'm gonna try it this week. So I will try to remember to let you guys know how it is. Um, what else do I need here? Do I need anything else? Maybe some strips of bacon. I saw these, these are kind of, I don't really like these strips of bacon, but. Do I need anything else? Does that look weird? <laughs> I mean, there's the bacon here, so I don't know. I don't love that. I don't love that bacon. Let's look at the other food sticker book, see if the bacon is any better in there. This bacon's cuter, isn't it? This bacon looks diseased. I'm gonna put this back. It looks like actually like um, tofu bacon or something. I don't like the looks of this. It doesn't look like, a, it's not a good meat color. So I'm gonna use these instead. Plus they match that better, so I like it better. It's still a little weird but I'm probably overthinking it. I guess that's all I need. It's cute, and now I will have it in my recipe planner so that I can make it this week. And if it's really good, we'll keep it in there. If not, well, <laughs> oh well. But how can it not be good, right? Usually I, I put recipes in there that I've already made, but sometimes I'll throw one in there that I really think is gonna be good and just to try it out. So. I hope this was helpful for you and you got some ideas for your own recipe planners and I will see you in my next video. Bye.